we don't understand even 10% of the universe. To make our understanding of universe make sense, we labeled the unknown as dark energy and dark matter. The universe is 70% dark energy, 25% dark matter. Now only 5% of the universe is visible matter or energy. So the stories of heaven and hell and Asgard and the eight worlds might not be a story at all. All of it could really be out there waiting to be found by us. Yuri Gagarin was the first man to reach out to space. We came to him about this because he did it successfully. But not Russia or the Allies will let us know how many such attempts would have happened before this. How many astronauts or cosmonauts would have died a painful death trying to reach the outer space? In the time of Cold War, many radio stations across the world have picked up cries for help from space. Presumably, these were the failed cosmonauts dying in the empty black space. Ever wondered why so many people report UFOs? But there has not been any strong proof of the existence of aliens. There is a theory called the Zoo Theory. It suggests that aliens exist but would never make their presence known to humanity. We are like animals being observed in a zoo, being monitored by the aliens who would not make contact with us until we reach a certain level of advancement. Ever get the feeling of deja vu? The feeling that you have previously been in the same place and have had the same conversation before? Have you ever thought, what if the whole life was deja vu? What if the whole life could just be a certain amount of time repeating over and over again? The Turing test is a test of machine if it is as intelligent as a human. Usually the machines fail this test, but what if they have been failing this test on purpose all along, so that we never come to know how intelligent they have become. If you would like to hear more about such mind-blowing facts and theories, then please subscribe to this channel, The Nautz Diaries.